Hello, you're welcome to the Math Classroom. If you are new to my channel, kindly subscribe, like, and share the video. Don't forget to give your comments in the comment section as well. Our lesson today, we are looking at differential equations. What comes to mind? If you hear of differential equations all of us or many of us in one way or the other may have heard of rates of change of a certain variable so you could have the distance with respect to words rates of distance with respect to words time or velocity with respect to what time this rate of changes we have distance over time velocity over time and many others or rates of a certain variable let's say with respect to what x this is what we calling words differential words equations so these are words differentials so the s over the t is a differential this is also differential velocity over time should i add my b then it's also a differential but what do we mean when we say differential equations because they are equations it means that it equates to a certain value it could be zero or it could be a certain y but x so we say differential equations involves one or more derivatives or differentials of an unknown functions very good so differential equations are absolutely fundamental to modern science and engineering and it is applied in many fields whether you are in engineering physics chemistry biology or economics differential equations are applied there because we keep talking about rates of changes if you are in the chemistry lab you always do a lot of chemical reactions so you consider the rates at which one chemical changes all of the known laws of phases in chemistry are differential equations and differential equation models are used as well in biology to study the biochemical reactions population dynamics organism growth and many others you'd see your differential equations as well more the most common use of differential equation in science is to model dynamical systems systems that change in time so you could have a system so let's say you have a system y that changes with respect to what time and if it happens so if it changes with respect to time we are saying that your time your denominator here and your numerator your denominator is always the independent words variable and your numerator is what you're calling words the dependence variable so y here is the dependence variable and the change to a certain variable that change let's say with respect to t is what we are calling independence variable instead of the normal dy dx we write so for my dy dx y is the dependence variable and x is the dependence variable so let's look at some applications in the various fields. If you consider 
an oscillation of a spring. So we have a spring. This is the spring. So I have a spring mass M. So this is a mass suspended through a light spring. If E is the elongation, so I say if E, so I have E to be the elongation in equilib equilibrium position. And I have K to be the restoring force. So with such a spring, I could write the equations for, uh, for that. And you realize that these equations are expressed in words differential forms. The basic form of differential equation and the first differential equation you always see is the Newton's second law of motion, which we have F is equal to what M A. Our acceleration defined as M words dv d words d c. If you read some books, then you realize that you have words m v dot. So this is the first differential. That is the rates of words velocity with respect to what time. Another natural phenomenon or natural application of a differential equation is the natural growth equation. We were young and we keep going and there's always an increase in our growth or a decrease in our growth. And this kind of growth is what we are calling the natural growth equation. So let's say I have this. At one point, we all keep going. You get to a certain age, a certain time. Then your age words keep words declining. So with that, that's what we are calling words, the natural growth words equation. So that if I have dy dt equal to ky, they are saying k is what the constant or rate constant or our growth constant. So if I write my differential equations as this, this differential equation has the solution of this form. Your y equal to y naught e exponent what kt. We are saying your y naught is your initial value of what y. So that if y increases over a certain time, we are calling that what the exponential was growth. And if y decreases over a certain time as well, such that it is approaching what zero, asymptotically, we are saying it is what the exponential was decay. So, differential equations, as you see, it's in words, many field. Let's consider a series. So I have a circuit. So this is my circuit consisting of what? A resistor. You have an inductor, a capacitor, and a voltage word source. So with this circuit, if I apply the Kirchhoff's voltage law, it gives me what this expression, which is expressed as what a differential word equation. Because you have what derivatives. So these are what derivatives we are dealing with. If I differentiate this equation with respect to t, you realize that this becomes what the equation I am looking at just so in chemistry like i mentioned earlier the rate at which a chemical or a reaction decays it's all expressed in words 
differential equation. So we can say that our every work, our every activity has some differential equation. So far as we are talking about what rates, so far as we are talking about what changes, then we are actually talking about differential equation. So this is just an application to look at and there are more applications to consider. In our next lesson, we'll be looking at more of these differential equations, how to express our differential equations. We'll learn how to classify them as well. So our next lesson, kindly stay safe. And don't forget to subscribe and share this video. Thank you.